So I was driving the roads to pick up yesterday and I kind of got on it and uh, got all this water sprayed on the windshield. I'm going to make a coolant recovery tank and I'm going to put it I'm going to put it right in here. I'm making patterns. First I cut this cut this shape out to kind of go in there. So it's going to hug the top, hug the sides. I have to bolt it in from this side, so I'll have to deal with that some way. And then just kind of, and I'm going to have it, I'm going to make it so it sticks out a little bit. So you see a little bit of the t aluminum tank. First I made this pattern. Then I kind of made it three-dimensional. So I put a, put a side on it. Put a bottom on it, sides and bottoms and back. Put it all together that way with tape, tape and cardboard. So here's the paper pattern kind of tape, taped in place just so I can kind of get an idea how it's going to look. Again, I just want it, I want it to look bitching but like it grew there. I don't want to just hang a round tank. So then I just drew on so I don't forget where I've got to put a, I've got to put a filler here. So I put fill. I've got to have a, uh, some mounting buns here. I'm going to weld some 3-8 square aluminum here with a quarter inch hole drilled and tapped in them so that I can screw it on to these holes in the side of the grill shell. And then I've got over here, I've got it marked where I've got to put a fitting so that I can go from the from the radiator <clears throat> down to here. This this will be gone. And then it'll have to have a drain out the bottom. That'll the tube will have to come almost all the way up <clears throat> so that it, it doesn't it only drains if it gets over full. I made the whole thing and then and then I figured out how I want to cut it apart. So I cut the cut the pattern apart after assembling the whole thing. So I had this thing in here like this. It's hard to do with one hand. Anyway, so I had a I had this three-dimensional box, the whole the whole tank actually made. Then I cut it apart. I figured out how I want to cut it apart. And this is how I'm going to do it. It's going to be one piece. It's going to be two main pieces. This, this is which is going to be three of the sides. And then this one will be the back. And that's going to be the back side up against the radiator that you don't, <clears throat> that you don't see. And then I traced it onto aluminum. I had some 090 aluminum here. Pretty dirty, but it's got the cover on it still, so I'm good. So I'm, I got my basic shape. I'm going to go over to the bandsaw, cut this out of the bandsaw, and then I'll break it in these two places, fold it up into a U shape, and then I'll weld the back on it after I make my fittings and weld the fittings in and stuff. So here it is cut out. I mark just to remind myself that this is where the uh, radiator outlet's got to go. This is where the filler's got to go. I don't know what I'm going to do about that yet. And then this is where the drain has got to go in with the little line going all the way to the top. I'm just going to bend it into a U shape. And then this is the back of it. But this will this will get welded in. This will get welded in place once I fold up those ends. So I made some buns. These are uh, this one here is just drilled out to half inch. A uh, piece of aluminum I just cut off in the bandsaw and then faced it off in the lathe and drilled it. And this one, this one here is got an eighth pipe uh, hole tapped in it. So I drilled it to the proper size and then tapped it out with an eighth pipe, uh, eighth pipe tap. So this is the one I'll use to fill from the radiator. <clears throat> and I rethought it. It's got a, the fill has to go into the bottom of the tank. So it's going to get a fill fill and a drain bung, I guess. I probably, now I look at it, I should have made that out of one piece of aluminum, half inch maybe, or something, you know, and uh, drill two holes in it. I may still do that now that I look at it. That's how these projects progress. I'm going to use this tube, piece of aluminum, aluminum tubing, it's half inch OD, that this, this bung fits fits on. It's, it's burred up now, but it'll, it'll go on there once I get it, get everything dialed in and polished up. So this is going to be the drain. So it'll go all the way from the, the bottom of the, 
all the way out the bottom of the uh, of the tank and up almost to the top so the tank's got to fill all the way up before it drains out the bottom okay okay so I've got it bent here's the piece now bent up in the brake so from there I'll uh, I gotta weld this piece into here once I get it all kind of formed together and so it'll all fit together and go from there okay here it is welded together I made a bunch of extra work for myself because when I bent it, I bent it the wrong way. So now this is going to be the exposed side, this one here. So I'm going to have to uh, sand all this and finish this edge. So that'll be, that's going to take a couple hours probably. So here it is partially sanded. When you sand this, just make it flat. Don't try to round the edges yet. You gotta just get get the sides flat. This one is partially sanded. I don't have all the weld knocked down yet. I just wanted to show you halfway halfway through the sanding process. I'm using this little black and decker with 36 grit on it. And uh, just knock it down. It ruins them pretty fast, but nothing you can do. You just gotta let them clog up, at least as far as I know. So here it is all sanded. I sanded it first with the 36 grit on here and then I went to a 60 just because that's what I had and then I went to a DA that's an orbital an orbital sander with the 80 grit in it and then I hand sanded it with 80 on a rubber block so I had a little flexibility just let me know but it's, uh, if you wanna go good. to that whole mile oh. Green. They got a lot of nice girls. Now look at the fittings that I need. That <laughs> So the buns I made earlier, I'm going to uh, machine a little step in them so that I can uh, recess them into a hole. And you got the time. Okay, I've got all the bungs made. I made I made this little part. That's a bung with a piece of aluminum tubing pushed into it. I'm going to weld it, weld the tube, and then this goes this goes in here, all the way towards the top of the tank, so it won't overflow. It's going to go like this, so it won't overflow until the water is up to this level. Then I've got this bung here for the filler. I know it's on the side, but I'll just use a funnel. I won't have to service it very often. So I'll just use an eighth, eighth pipe plug in that. I'll get an aluminum one, nice one. And then this one, this bung here, this will go on the bottom of the tank. This is an eighth, eighth pipe thread. And uh, so I'll put a, I'll put a uh, Dash 390 in there and then hook it up to my stainless steel stainless steel line. I'll get rid of this and this is going to run down going to run down there and fill it. Okay so now I made three more little bungs. These have a quarter 20 hole tapped in them. So I've got them tacked in place. I held them up against the grill shell. Now I'm going to weld them on. plug in there. I used some little Allen bolts, just cut them real short, cut them like a quarter inch long. Put little Allen bolts right through the side of the grill shell, hold it in. I haven't plumbed it yet. I gotta run a piece of stainless, so I'll get rid of this. Run stainless down there to the bottom fitting. There it is. Maybe a peak tank. 
coolant recovery system, whatever you want to call it. So here it is, all done. 